On behalf of the USC Viterbi School of Engineering, I would like to warmly welcome all of you to USC, both new and returning students. I know that many of you had elected to attend Viterbi and USC rather than other top institutions. I hope, I am sure, that when you graduate, you will know that you could not have made a better choice. The late president of the National Academy of Engineering, Chuck Vess, said, we live in the most exciting era for science and engineering in human history. It is you who will shape the world where tremendous opportunities, but also important challenges present themselves every day. Society will count on you to use your education and talent to grasp these opportunities and to face the challenges for useful purposes. Indeed, here's how I define engineering and technology, exploiting phenomena for useful purposes. This phenomena can be physical or chemical or biological. And nowadays, more and more, phenomena related to the individual human being and the society at large, social phenomena. Engineering not only as gadgets and devices and structures, but as a way of thinking, designing, and solving problems is the empowering discipline of our time, what we call engineering plus. The NAE has also articulated grand challenges for engineering. They include reverse engineering the brain, making solar energy competitive, securing cyberspace, engineering better medicines, providing access to clean water, advancing innovations for the betterment of human life. At the end of the day, engineering and technology are at the core of all new innovations. The ways to solve difficult problems or creating new, exciting possibilities for the benefit of humankind. You will be those who will literally change the world. In your education, you will be held by some of the best faculty in the world. I'll give you one example. Earlier this week, the MIT Technology Review announced its annual TR35 list. It's a prestigious list of the top 35 young technology innovators in the world under the age of 35. It includes universities, research labs, and corporations. I'm very pleased to tell you that three in that list of 35 are USC Viterbi faculty. Assistant Professor of Civil and Environmental Engineering, George Van Wise. Assistant Professor of Biomedical Engineering, Megan McCain. And Assistant Professor of Electrical Engineering, Miriam Senacci. More importantly, since 2009, 10 USC Viterbi faculty, of which six women, have earned this distinction. And I did a little bit of research and discovered that in that period of time, USC Viterbi leads every other institution in the world with the largest number of such awardees. You will agree with me that this is quite impressive. Early this summer, we also learned that the National Science Foundation will designate USC Engineering as the center of an innovation node that also includes Caltech and UCLA to help transform the technology innovation ecosystem in Southern California. This will be the sixth such node in the nation. It will help further boost our efforts in innovation and entrepreneurship, whether through the Massey Entrepreneurship Prize competition or the Viterbi Startup Garage. So welcome to USC Viterbi and welcome back. Study hard, be creative, try new things, make new friends, make every moment count and fight on.